So, a uh, slightly different uh, mailbag segment this week. My uh, camera mount died halfway through. However, it's uh, pretty good timing because I needed uh, the space for this. So I decided to go to Audi uh, and be part of the uh, craze uh, to get uh, the latest Cocoon 3D printer. Uh, it wasn't really a craze this time. Uh, by the time I got there three days later, there were six uh, printers still there. I think we can probably conclude that the whole uh, 3D printing uh, frenzy is over and now we can get down to some business doing some real stuff with them. So uh, with this particular, so this one it's fairly similar to the other one except this one has a you know, touch display on the on the front. And you also get all the uh, extra bits and pieces uh, you need for a uh, USB cable, a scraper, memory card, uh, bits and pieces, the uh, nozzle I think. Oh actually it's probably the nozzle cleaner I think. So because uh, my channel is mainly electronics based, uh, this is my first experience with a 3D printer. So it's actually probably a pretty good uh, test to see uh, how good uh, this uh, 3D printer is for newbies. Got my instructions here. Do I need to read them? Okay, let's get stuck into it. Um, now I'm pretty sure it goes around this way. So it looks like it's pretty easy to disconnect everything up. Everything's got all the connectors all labelled, so it's just very simple. Uh, you really can't get this wrong if you're very impatient like I am. You just follow the uh, lettering. Put that one connected, that one connected, excellent. Of course the uh, spool holder on top. So there's um, essentially five points, A, B, C, D, E and uh, you're home and hosed and of course you're left with a few bits and pieces uh, at the end of it. So, um, let's uh, fire it up and see how it goes. All we need is the juice, uh, power it on. Now according to the instructions, of course we need to level it. Um, so all I need to do is press the level wizard on the touch screen panel. Um, but I need my card. Where's my card? I've gone and lost my levelling card. Where the heck is my levelling card? So I managed to find my uh, levelling card. Okay, so the uh, auto levelling sequence. Turn the thumb wheel until it just touches. So one thing I did notice after a fair amount of trial and error is that uh, when you're levelling um, the, the bed, make sure that you have this uh, corner down as as low as possible. You don't need to have all the other corners down as low as possible but this, the first one uh, that it uh, levels uh, is the most important one. Uh, if you just keep it up high and don't pull it down as low as possible it has a snowball effect that means you end up having to adjust all the other uh, knobs to the point that you run out of thread. Apart from that levelling is fairly straightforward. It's, it's pretty decent. Next thing is to add filament. Um, so apparently uh, there's a menu for this, change filament, add filament, the filament just goes in this little hole here next to the, the head uh, and the rest of it just hangs up here but uh, of course you can get uh, a proper wheel for it. What's this one? I think this is PLA, straight PLA. We need to wait for it to uh, to come out the hole. Once uh, that starts happening, we just press back to stop. 
So, what do I think of it? Um, I printed off a couple of demo uh, sort of pieces. This was an Adafruit Hazard case that I printed off. So I modified this uh, Thingiverse object and added my little Micmac logo on it. Uh, it was a raft, so it didn't come out too well. I think this is a fairly common problem. Um, and however, I did this one, which is a straight printed onto the surface. Taking the 3D print off is, you know, really hard. Of course, you know, a lot of people have issues with it. Um, so I got some capped on tape, uh, which improved things a lot. Look, I guess the 3D print is pretty good. It's a little bit expensive, but it's easy to use. It's designed for beginners. I did have issues with uh, the slicer I was using. The Cocoon Create guys have modified uh, the Cura slicer. So I tried uh, using the, the standard slicer, and I came up with mixed results. Like this one is pretty. Yeah, it's a 3D printer, it's pretty flimsy. And the only reason why I wanted to get uh, this particular printer, uh, along with the uh, Banggood one I had, was in future uh, all my project videos will have uh, a Thingiverse uh, 3D print box to go along with them. So that's about it. I think it's a pretty good printer, but expensive. But hey, uh, you get up and running pretty quickly with this thing. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next week.